Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So Cosbox for winter 2019 is doing another sale. They did their first sale that was concurrent with customizing their box in fall 2019 and they are doing it again. So it looks like they're going to keep it up and it's a new thing for Cosbox. It's called the market sale, marketplace, Cosbox marketplace. And I am going to give you guys a full reveal of what's available in the sale. I would say that there is quite a bit more available in this sale than there was in the last fall sale. And there are actually some things that I'm kind of considering buying. You do have to spend $50 to get free shipping though. So that's kind of making me hold back a little bit. So that's really exciting. I also wanted to say that with Cosbox, you can rely on the fact that the products will be cruelty-free, non-toxic, and sustainably sourced. So really all you need to check are ratings for the products, ratings and reviews if you're interested in a product in the Cosbox sales. So that eliminates a lot of research. Anyway, so that's about everything that I wanted to say before getting into this video. So we are going to go look at the sale. I'm going to record my computer screen and show you everything and we're going to do that right now. Okay, so here we are. This is my computer screen. We're in my account and we are going to look at what's available in the market. It's called, it's called the add-on market. Market. I thought it was marketplace. Forgive me. I let's first look at what's in my cart. I'll show you. Uh, they have some butter London nail polishes, and I'm a sucker for nail polish. So I have a couple colors of theirs um, in my cart. I will show you them when we get to them in the sale. What's available in the sale? You can see more details on them. And then uh, they have some latex cleaning gloves, which we always need another pair of these on hand, right? Mine are getting kind of weird, so I figured I would get those. So that's all that's in my cart, very little so far. So let's go back to the market, and I'm just going to show you everything. So they're doing these bundles, kind of like what FabFitFun does. I'm sorry if you're not a member of FabFitFun. I will stop referring to FabFitFun. So this actually, I have two of these items, and I have the, uh, you can barely see them really, but these are wireless earbuds by Listen or LSTN, and they're a little bit bulky, but they work really well. I use them in the morning when I listen to my podcasts while I'm getting ready, and they work just fine. Uh, they have here what they've been calling an oversized duffel. It's really not oversized. I would say it's on the smaller side, actually, uh, but it's well made and it retails. You can see over here the retail value they say is $108. Um, it's well made. I think that the reason the retail value can be so high on some of their products is also because they are made by workers in countries that are actually paid fair wages. So that would up the cost and that is a perfectly great reason for it to have such a high rate retail value, I think. <clears throat> so those two items in this bundle are actually quite good. Um, like again, this is on the smaller side, this duffel. Uh, and let's see if there's any more information. So you can see all the retail prices here if you want to pause. And then here, let's see if it says anything else in specs. It does not. So this is actually kind of a decent bundle. These, these, these uh, wireless headphones have been great because my husband doesn't have to listen to my podcast in the morning. <laughs> it's nice to just have them uh, for that. So this is another bundle. This poncho was in the winter box and you could select it in different uh, styles if you were an annual member. And it is probably made of one of the most soft materials I have ever felt. I believe, if I remember correctly, it was 100% viscose, and that was the first time I really paid attention to that uh, material. I hadn't really paid attention to that material before. I, I have all three of these things, actually. They were all in past boxes. So this uh, portfolio clutch, they're calling it, is for laptops, and they say that it should fit a 13-inch laptop. A lot of customers were pretty upset because it fits the 13-inch newer Mac laptop, which is quite thin. So that's what it fits. I have a 13-inch new Mac laptop for work, and it fits perfectly. If it were any bigger, it would not fit. So keep that in mind if you're eyeing these. Otherwise, if your com computer does fit, it is quite nice. I use it at work, and it looks a little more professional than some of the other computer bags. So this, I'm always skeptical, <laughs> skeptical of jewelry in sales like these, but I do have this little bracelet, and it's well made. I don't 
I haven't worn it. It's not really a style. This is a little key. It's not really a style that I would wear, but I have it and it does feel like good quality. Uh, no specs to speak of, so let's move on. Um, okay, so I have also received two of these in past boxes. So I tried this Glow Bamboo Brightening Mask. I've used masks that have felt more more luxurious and enjoyable to use. It also smells like lemon verbena, which for me reminds me of being a child and using lemon pledge to dust. And so that smell for me is a little bit ruined. So I'm a little biased on this. Uh, even aside from that, it is a, it has a physical exfoliant in it. So it would be something that you would want to use fairly infrequently because we don't want to overly physical exfoliate our skins, physically exfoliate our skin, our skin. <laughs> that came out weird. Forgive me. <laughs> um, so I, I'm not that big of a fan of this mask. I am going to see if my sister likes it. This is a facial steam, which I know a lot of people like. To me, honestly, when I smelled it, it smelled a little bit like a pot. But uh, I know that some other people felt that way too, but not everybody. It could be just, a, you know, we all smell, pick up different scents and things. Um, and then other than that, I know that a lot of people like facial steams. I am not one to do them. So this could be good. I haven't tried this other Hanalei thing. Um, again, there's that same poncho wrap in a different design. It is viscose. It is so soft. These earrings, I remember the reason I switched to annuals so, so I could pick between these earrings and a necklace that was a similar design because I thought that the necklace was really nice. And it was, I thought, very disappointing and poor quality. The thickness of the metal pieces is, is about... Uh, it's so flimsy. It's it, they will bend so easily. I just I felt like they were very poor quality, and this these scarves were quite nice. These were also in I think the spring spring box, and there was a selection of different patterns that we could get. I have one. I have yet to wear it. I again I think it's also just a style thing. I have the poncho too. I have yet to wear it. I I just even though they're very very nice items for me, it's just a style thing with Cosbox. As I mentioned before, Juice Beauty. This moisturizer has excellent reviews on, I can't remember if it was Sephora or, or Ulta, um, and that's a really great discounted price. Really, really good reviews, so if you need a moisturizer, you might want to pick that one up. This deodorant, I've heard it works, but they have an insane marketing budget because they are just advertising everywhere. So I kind of feel like that's the only reason that its retail value is $12. $5.50 is okay, but $12 for a deodorant? Wow. There are other natural non-toxic deodorants that really, really work out there. I have talked about them in past videos. PMD, I don't know much, but you can find a lot of YouTube videos where people demo these products if you are interested. I also got this in a past box. Boy, I didn't think I was going to have this much to say for this, these sale items as I seem to. Uh, so this was just boring to me. I think I saw some people say they liked it. It's supposed to be infused with konjac, which is also glucomanon, which is a root-based ingredient in skincare. I believe it helps with brightening. It might say over here. Um, it doesn't say what the konjac does, but um, I, I believe it helps with brightening. That could be wrong, but that's what the ingredient is. And it's just this tiny little sponge and it hangs in my shower, totally ignored. I, I tried it on my face once and it felt like I was rubbing a little sponge on my face, to be honest. There wasn't much of a scent at all, which is quite, I love unscented, so I'm about that. But here are the specs for you if you want to take a look at that. I don't know anything about these packing cubes, but I do believe that they are, I, I'm sure that they're made, yeah, you can see it here. Works with artisans around the globe. Um, so fair wages. So these are ethically and sustainably made. If you like packing cubes, they come, there's their um, specs. And they come in a few different colors. Oh, look, people like this mango bowl. I almost threw this in my cart too. So this is mango wood. And there are the specs for you. 
Here's where I think I'm going to start getting into things I haven't tried, and I'm just going to show you the pictures and the specs. So this is a glass carafe. I don't even know what this is. Is it just a filter? If you know what this is, leave a comment below. I'm not even sure what that's this is for. Is this a... Anyway, that's what that is. <laughs> oh, cutlery set, bamboo, eco-friendly cutlery set. And there are the specs. So I'm just going to, like I said, go around with pictures and click over to the from the description and the specs so you can pause and read as you need to. Lip scrub. There's the description. Here are the specs with the ingredients. Here are these silicone uh, food covers. A lot of these things, you know, double check if you can get them on Amazon uh, before you get them from a sale like this where it might not be uh, something that you can return and get your money back for. My guess is there are probably sets on Amazon for around the sale price. This is cute. It's an oversized tote. Uh, you can only be waitlisted for it. Leather, or maybe vegan leather. Well, it'll say in the, oh, made in Ethiopia. I think a lot of the stuff made in Ethiopia is leather, but it'll say in the description or the specs. So here's the description over here. You can pause and read. And then here are the specs. The size. Uh, here's the brightening mask that I talked a lot about uh, that I'm going to let my sister try. And then here's the specs. There's the ingredients. Okay. And then, oh, this is a, is this a straw? This is a metal straw, right? Yes, on the go straw. Kit. Specs. Juice Beauty Ultra Natural Mascara. Look up reviews on that. Juice Beauty has very hit and miss reviews on their products. Some of their products, like that moisturizer I mentioned, has great reviews. I don't know if this mascara also has great reviews, though. So I've seen some of their uh, products only have three stars in general across the board. I, okay, here's a decor bundle. See, this is, this is just very much a style that I don't like. See, I got, here's another thing that I got in a past box, this macrame plant hanger. I love plants, but I got this plant hanger in a past box and I don't use it. So that's yet another thing where it's like, I got it. I appreciated it when I looked at it, but I never, never was excited enough about it to use it. This is a Looks like a kind of an it looks like an okay price, a hundred and thirty dollar value. Turkish towel. This is forty four dollars. This towel. Um. Anyway, okay. These are oh wow. So these are postcards, and I. I think that they are a wasteful addition to the Cosbox boxes. They put one in every box, and they're literally postcards. They're large postcards, and they put a $10 value on them, and that also doesn't make sense to me. These, This whole thing, to me, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, here's another bundle. So I talked about the scarf, and I've talked about this clutch. I remember I got a necklace... A lot like this one and that one this necklace was decent quality uh, I haven't worn that necklace either although I do like that necklace I honestly kind of forgot about it until right now so there's the retail prices here's an another bundle and I've talked about all three of these things already so we're just gonna click over to the specs these earrings are poor quality. Well, the necklace version of those earrings. We could choose the necklace or the earrings. 
Um, I'm reiterating in case you missed, you skipped over that when I talked about that before. The necklace version of these earrings, I did not receive the earrings, but the necklace was poor quality, I thought. Okay. Uh, there's that poncho again. There's that key bracelet again. And here is a tumbler, an insulated tumbler, and I have it, and it is in my gift pile of things to give away or emergency gifts for people. So yet again, another thing that I have that just wasn't for me. There's the retail prices. I could see some people just absolutely adoring all of this stuff. Another bundle, I've talked about all three of these things already. Here is the description, the specs. Here's another bundle, $187 value. Yeah, that's because the Steffel bag has such a, a crazy price on it. This um, cleanser is one of those powder cleansers. Anyway, so that's this, and then there's the specs, no specs. I have never had this beanie. I skipped, no, I must not have chosen the beanie. I remember the beanie, but I don't have one. I have one of these eye uh, covers, and it's from Etitude. And it's fine. It's fine. It's not like really amazing or anything. It's fine. And then there are the specs. Here is another. I skipped the box. This, I skipped this box. So this is a collection of things from the summer box. And I didn't, this was so similar to that poncho that we've seen a lot of, uh, and I didn't want another one that I wasn't going to wear. I'm not going to wear that. This is a swimsuit cover-up poncho. Oh, caftan cover-up, they're calling it. And then this is a bag that will keep your things dry if you're out by the pool. And then a mineral sunscreen and then an aloe gel. I just, I the summer box didn't speak to me at all. So I skipped it, and that is a great thing about uh, cause boxes that you can skip. There is a deadline for when you can skip, though. Um, so I remember having to search for it. I, it was not readily available or easily found. So, But you can do it. You can do it. If you're thinking about skipping, you might just email them and ask. I don't know much about anything in here, although I am a sucker for nail polishes, as I mentioned. So I'm really curious about those, but... Uh, so anyway, here are, here's the description, and then here are the specs. Oh, no specs. Okay, uh, this is a bundle of the mineral sunscreen and aloe gel that actually, that's a, that's a nice little bundle. I'm going to toss that in my cart. Um, let's get back and look at the specs, though. I love a good mineral sunscreen. And an aloe gel. Okay. I might I might not get it. I will probably dump everything in my cart um, before the sale ends. <laughs> uh, and then these we've I've kind of touched on these, but there's the description. Here are the specs. And they have oh, there's that glow mask again. And then I, I guess are these sheet masks? Must be cloth mask. Oh, cloth. I was a little surprised to see what seemed to be a sheet mask in these sales because sheet masks are very wasteful. You know, makeup wipes, all those things, they're so wasteful. But it says cloth mask, so I wonder if it's if it's biodegradable or something. Uh, so this brand Kalos, this also came in a box of mine, and I gave this away as a Christmas present, this uh, rose water mist. And I mainly did that because I am a little bit over the rose scent and rose mists. Uh, it's just, I've just been, you know, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm a little bit, not over it. Like I don't, when people say over it, it sounds a little stuck up, but I've just, I'm rosed out. Let's call it that. And then a jade roller. Okay, moving on. So here are the specs. Oh, and we got a jade roller. I also gifted that. See, so much of it I either have and I haven't used or I, I gave it away. Um, more silicone straws. Here are the specs. Oh, not more silicone straws. The other straw was not silicone. 
Here are those beeswax wraps. Here's the specs. These are to replace uh, plastic wrap, if you haven't seen these before. I don't know how well they work. I've never used them before. They have them here in different colors. Here's some more stainless steel straws. Let's check out the, not some more, some more straws, I should say. There are the specs. Wood petal tray. I wonder what kind of wood this is made out of. Let's see if we can figure it out. Specs? Mango wood. Oh. Okay. There are the sizes. These are cute. But they're just cute. I, I have lots of reusable bags. Let's throw them in my cart. <clears throat> Wood and marble coasters sold out. $9. That's a good price. There's the description. Mango wood and white marble. There are the specs. Those are nice. Those are really nice. Add me to the wait list. <laughs> uh, and here's a tote. Here's the description. And then the specs. Here are more of those sponges, like the sponge that I talked about before. Oops. That I said just felt like I was rubbing a sponge on my face. Didn't feel like it was useful in any way for me. Here's one with charcoal infusion. Here's the specs. These are neat. I am intrigued by these. If you're a baker and you are into the environment, these, the cool things about, thing about these is that if you decide to throw them away, they will compost in, within, into the earth within two years. So that, that I think is really, really neat. Where are all of, why don't, why can't we replace all of the plastic in the world with something like that? It's amazing that we haven't done it yet. Uh, so here are the specs. Here's a, this is pretty, this is pretty. Let's look at the specs. Snack board. Um, there are the specs. Here's one with natural, so it's just a different color. This is cute too. Oh, look at the side. Um, here are the specs. That's pretty. I like that. Tapas server. If you like to host stuff, these are really. These are cute. These are cute. There's a bl with blue. Bamboo toothbrush. Here the specs. Bamboo pumice. That doesn't look like pumice. Oh, I guess one side's a brush and the other side's pumice. Okay. And then here are the specs. Okay, Be Kind. So they have a bunch of stuff by this Be Kind brand. I used something I got in a Pediver box, which is a cruelty-free subscription box. It's only $18 a month. I do unboxings of theirs on my channel. Um, and it was, a, it was, so it was a facial exfoliant. And while it was a pleasant facial exfoliant to use, it, the smelled, it smelled like, um, like when you walk into a newly built house, you know, the fresh paint, the fresh wood and the, just the freshness, it smelled like that to me for some reason. So I did not like it. <laughs> I mean, that's a good smell, but not when you're using a yeah, beauty product and, and that, that particular product is not available in the sale. That's just, I'm, I'm letting you know my experience with the brand. Uh, but other than that, it is a, 
it seems like a great brand. I, I am interested to try more of, of their stuff. So that was a shampoo bar. Here's a conditioner bar. There's the specs. Here's more rose water face mist. So I was talking about how I'm just so rose water face misted out. There's just, it's just so popular. It was nice at first, but it's just everywhere now. And I, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> uh, there are the specs. They have a lip balm. There are the specs. Let's look at what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Here's another lip balm, just in a different flavor. So forest and citrus. A uh, pink quartz roller. There's the specs. There's the description. This is a cute little choker. It's very, very dainty. Uh, I am skeptical about jewelry in these sales I mentioned already. Just make sure that you can confirm what the material is that it's made out of. I'm sure it'll be more reliable in a sale like this one, but in FabFitFun, often they're gold-plated brass or something like, or just gold-plated metal or alloy or something. And uh, at the and and at the prices in FabFitFun, that just doesn't make sense. At the prices in this sale, though, I do trust the jewelry a lot more. So. I think that uh, I think a lot of the jewelry should be pretty decent quality, and the prices make sense. Here's a white jade face face roller. There's the description and the specs. More be kind. Oh, I wonder if this is the facial scrub that I tried. This might be it. I I had a little sample size. But this might be the face scrub that I was just talking about. Let me see the oh activate nope it's not it was not an activated charcoal face scrub. Uh, careful with charcoal face scrubs and cleansers. If you want to use them over the sink, they're incredibly incredibly messy. And then there are the specs. Hand bombs. Hand bombs kit. Okay. Uh, here's the description. Here are the specs. Oh, people like it. It's, you have to get waitlisted. Oh, look at this scarf. Well, that's pricey, even at the sale price for a scarf. But again, I have to remember that it's all sustainably made and the workers were paid fair wages. Um, so that's why the price can be high. I often forget that because I'm so used to, you know, Amazon prices. So it looks like it's wool and silk. Oh, it flashed a picture of someone wearing it. We'll see if we can get that back. It's not here. But here's this description. These are pretty. And then here are the specs. Made in Bend, Oregon. There, there's a picture. I don't know why it's not showing up in the product, but there's a picture of someone wearing it. Here are more scarves. Here's the specs. So it's that same scarf, just different designs. So here's another one. Different patterns. Oh no, this one's cashmere and modal. Seen that material before. I forget what it is. Some foldable shopping bags. Here, this is, this, here is the description. Here are the specs. Grocery store bags. Description, specs. Insulated shopping tote. Lunch tote. No, okay. Lunch totes, but smaller. Let's take a look at some of the pictures. It's cute. Here's the description, and then here are the specs. Melamine nesting bowls. Here's the description and the specs. Glass nesting bowls. You can find these at Goodwill. I, I have found them at Goodwill. Depends on the Goodwill near you. Here's the description and here are the specs. 
a lunch tote. The description, specs. Okay. Spoon supply. Water bottle. Don't know anything about them. They have it in yellow as well. A tech pouch. Okay. Vegan leather. Here are the specs. They have it in blue. Oh, that's a different that's a different design than the last one. A vegetable griller. Interesting. Oh, interesting. I tried to get my husband something like that once and he wasn't into it. He likes to grill. Here's a description in the specs. A tote, a linen tote. Description and specs. I have it here in a blue color, a little bit, a little tinge of turquoise, mostly blue. <clears throat> Here's the Butter London stuff. Oh, you know, I had, I thought I added this to my cart. I was going to save it as a gift for my niece, but it's peel off glitter nail polish. I don't know why it didn't get added. Um, anyway, I thought that that would be really fun. It's peel off glitter nail polish. So that's silver and they have it in gold as well. Darn it. I wonder why that didn't take when I tried to add it. Now they're both sold out, sold out. Maybe it didn't because they had just sold out or something. These look nice. These are their salad servers. Description is here. Here's the picture and the specs. More mango wood. More butter London. So this one, it looks like a, a green color. It's cocky. And the neat thing about it is that, so I'm pregnant and I'm trying to convince my husband, he's asked me to not paint my nails because of how toxic nail polish is. And I'm trying to convince him that there are non-toxic nail polishes out there because I love, love, love having my nails painted. Um, but so far he still is kind of like, uh, you just don't want to mess with it. Anyway, so these are supposed to be eight free. Formalde free of formaldehyde, formaldehyde resin, DBP, toluene, camphor, ethyl. Anyway, these are all the bad things that it's free of that most nail polish has. So I don't know. I may just have to go this whole pregnancy without painting my nails. So more produce bags and description and specs. Here's more Butter London. So some of these nail polish colors had pictures of the colors. This that one looks a little bit apricot-like. I have this one in my cart. So that's just a nude. And um, here's this one. It's like a silver. Here's this one. They didn't put a little color sample, but it's supposed to be gray. It looks brown to me. And then I have this one in my cart. It's a red. I love having my nails painted. I've, I'm really missing it right now. And then here is Butter London. They had a, have a bunch of Butter London stuff. There's a description in this. Wait, here. Okay. that's That looks creamy. <laughs> uh, the description, the specs. Let's see. Okay. This necklace, it's pretty. Uh, specs, let's see. Fine pewter. So that's fine. It's pewter. <laughs> that is okay. It's pewter and it's plated in gold. So, and that price seems very reasonable. Oh, they, this is not a sale price. That's just a retail price. Anyway, and so they also have it in silver over here. Here's more uh, highlighting gel from Butter London. I showed it to you over here. I want to try to speed up a little bit. So if there's a duplicate and it's in the same, it's the same thing, different color, I might not bring it up. But here's Butter London uh, Tinted Lip Treatment. Uh, there's the description in the specs. This one is in 
doesn't say what the color is. Here's another one in a different color. Here's a necklace that says love. This is Specs. So this one's also pewter. So is that's the same? It's the same designer, Foxy Originals. Okay, and then some nesting bowls. There are the Specs. More Butter London. Here's a mascara. I have been wanting to try a mascara with a spoolie like that. I think that that would be really helpful for separating the lashes. Here's a eye pencil. Butter London. There are the specs. Uh, another, oh, this is the eye pencil in brown, it looks like. This is a liquid liner. Butter London. Here's more Foxy Originals jewelry. Fine pewter. Okay, so they make it out of pewter. These are nice. I'm going to throw those in my cart. I don't know if that worked. <laughs> uh, oh, so this is more cosmetics. This is the same brand that made that face mask that I said smells like lemon verbena that I'm going to let my sister try. Uh, oh, what are the specs? Here are the specs. Oh, <laughs> those don't make sense. And then here's another product by them. This is a deep cleansing mask. So it's probably a clay mask. Usually that's what a deep cleansing mask is. doesn't say that. Anyway, here is... Oh, bentonite. Yeah, I believe that's clay, bentonite. Uh, and then here are the specs. Oh, these are cute. That's not my style, but I, I, if I saw them on someone else, I would think they were super cute, but I wouldn't wear them, but they're so cute. Uh, and then there are the specs. Here's a scrunchie. Those are definitely back in style by Etitude. They do all those bamboo, bamboo lyocell uh, sheets and the eye mask and all of that. And there are the specs. More cosmetics. What's this? It's an eye complex. There's a description in the specs. Ooh, what's this now? That's an interesting design. Those are neat. There's a description and the specs. Those are really neat. I like these. Another scrunchie set from Etitude. Here are the headphones that I said are a little bit bulky, but they work. Uh, and then here are the specs. Waffle towels. I'm not one for waffle towels. There's the description and the specs. I like I like good old fashioned terry cloth. Uh, what's this? A travel kit. It comes with what? Here's the description. Oh, it comes with the eye thing and a pillow? Wait. Eye mask, eye pillow, a standard size pillowcase. Here are the specs. Here's a robe. Same picture five times. <laughs> There's an up close of the material. Here's the description, here are the specs. You can get it in sizes small through extra large. There are the specs. I haven't tried this new body uh, line of products before. Oh, that's a great picture. <laughs> okay, here's the description and here is the specs, a boost regenerating facial serum. So it's oil-based. The thing about these bar necklaces is they always end up tilting to the side and then it looks weird. So here are the descriptions and then here are the specs. And gold. See for this one I wouldn't, I don't know if I would trust it because it says it's gold plated but it doesn't say what the gold plated material is and that kind of 
bothers me. It might say it here somewhere. Take a look and double check me on that. Here's that same robe just in cream color. <laughs> same picture five times again. Here's an up close of the material and here are the specs. Uh, oh, and then here's Attitude. They have sheets. I do know that they have had Attitude pillowcases in some of the FabFitFun sales and people go nuts over them. So I do know that bamboo is wonderful. I have a set of bamboo sheets and they are 100% bamboo and they are my favorite sheets by far. I they, they had them at Costco one time. I've never seen them again. So I do recommend bamboo. And here are the specs. See now, Lyocell. Lyocell. Look up Lyocell. It, I, I'm, I'm blanking on exactly what it is, so I don't want to start talking. But look up Lyocell. It's not 100% pure uh, bamboo. So look that up. But people, again, people love their pillowcases that have been available in FabFitFun. Uh, more produce bags. This is a mixed variety. Here are the specs. Drinking cups. So there's a lot more available in this sale than in the sale last time because I think I was done with the video by now. Here are the specs. When I did a video just like this for the last uh, market sale through Cosbox, and I think I was done by now. There were far fewer products. So I'm sorry this is taking a while, but feel free to skip around, of course. <laughs> Going places. So a bracelet. <clears throat> There's a description and specs. Stackable bento. Okay, here are the specs. Oh, you know, these are reusable pads like that you can replace your cotton pads with, and I've been meaning to buy some. Uh, actually, I don't need to yet because I have a huge, um, I have a Costco size pack of cotton rounds, but once I'm done with that, I will probably, I will definitely get these next. I didn't even know these existed until the last sale, the last Cosbox sale. And you can get them, they are all over Amazon for, see, this isn't even that much of a get discount. So if you're interested in these, these are on Amazon. Go ahead and check them out there. Another straw. I feel like this is the same straw we saw first uh, in, this, in this sale up a ways. Anyway. More produce bags. Six dollars. Set of five. That's pretty good. Here are the specs. More shopping totes. Oh, they have a little video on this one. Well, that's clever. That's so clever. Okay. Uh, so there's that one. <laughs> and they have it in a couple of other designs. Here's that Going Places bracelet in silver. Here's that Love necklace in, sil in silver. Here's a mama necklace. All of these are by Foxy Originals, and it looks like they are all pewter. Yeah, pewter. That's really, that's great, pewter. So, okay, so there's mama. I'm not going to uh, enlarge. Well, I just did. <laughs> I'm going to try to go faster, though. Here is the gold version of the hoops that I just threw into my cart. Uh, here... Let's see. Oh, these look cute. Oh, that's nice. Here are the specs. I thought these were pretty. They also have them in silver. Right here. 
This is a brush, um, dish brush and ceramic dish. Here are the specs. Here are the gloves that were in my cart. The four fifty is a great price, and they're probably decent. Here are the specs. So they have them in medium and large. I was thinking about getting a pair of large for my husband. Might as well throw that in my cart. <laughs> And then walnut scrubber sponge, interesting, 250, a two pack. This is specs. A veggie brush. Wow. Here are the specs. Compostable food waste bags. Here's a description and specs. Reusable sandwich bags. I've, I've been meaning to get some of these too. Here are the specs. Pour over hot and cold brew bottle. Oh, for tea. Okay, here are the specs. Okay, here's this sign thing. <laughs> here are the specs. Here's another sign thing. And here are the specs. Here's another sign thing. A wall hanging, it's called. <laughs> and here are the specs. A farmer's market tote. Okay. And here are the specs. What's with all this? What are these? I don't understand these. Perfect for imaginative play. The farmer's market tote is a great size for little hands and includes six hand-sewn fruits and veggies. Oh, I see. Sewn and screen printed by hand on natural canvas by local artisans. Okay. Those are for like kids. Okay. <laughs> uh, here's another sold out tote. It's got a leather handle or something. Yeah. Genuine leather. Here's more Juice Beauty. Um, again, if you join and you look into the Juice Beauty stuff, definitely check reviews. Their products are hit and miss. Here are the specs. Green apple brightening gel cleanser of theirs. Here are the specs. Uh, green apple brightening emulsion. Here's the description and the specs. Wait, did I need to scroll on the specs? No, okay. Uh, Juice Beauty blush. Are the specs another one of their blushes let's look at the packaging there's the specs a precision eye pencil there's a lot more in this sale than last time I can tell especially now that I'm making this video a lip gloss from juice beauty there's a description in the specs uh, satin lip cream that's a really pretty color holy smokes description and specs I am gonna add this to my cart and look into reviews on that later um, and then they have it in so they have the same thing in this color Sonoma and then in this color blush those are all pretty colors. Really, really pretty. And then in this color, carrot color, Sira? Sira? Uh, a composter. You know, where I live, they don't compost. I think you have to pay a lot extra for a compost bin. It's frustrating. 
There's the specs. A charcoal filter for compost. There are the specs. Bamboo. Uh, so cutlery. Here are the specs. Uh, it's biodegradable craft material. So this is also not plastic. Why aren't we using this stuff all over the place? This looks nice. These look nice. Copper two-piece hostess set. These look nice, except for I don't need a ladle like that. Or a... Uh, what is that other... A spatula? That's a spatula, right? Here are the specs. <laughs> oh, casserole server. Okay, and a steak knife set. Here are the specs. So, four-piece set. Uh, some more flatware. Here are the specs. More flatware. Here are the specs. These are the same brand, so I'm not going to click on this one. Well, sure. I don't want to just breeze over stuff. If you're watching this for a real thorough take, which is what I intended. Here's Beanie. Here's the description and the specs. Oh, Known Supply. I believe they're the same people that made the duffel bag. I think. I could be wrong. Same beanie, different color. There are the specs. This one's cute. There are the specs. Have it in blue. Karina Naturals. So we have some Bali body polish. I've never heard of this brand. Here's the description and the specs. They have it in a different sense. Description and specs. Body oil geranium. I like geranium. Description and specs. Lavender. Body oil by them. A face serum for normal to dry skin. Here's the description and specs. And then they have it for oily or acne prone. Oh, this candle was in the uh, fall box and it was very fragrant. Uh, I don't know if it was coconut lily, but it was this uh, this candle maker. It's very, very nice. It's, you can tell it, it's, oh, it was this one. This was the one that was in it. White cactus. There's a description and specs. It's very nice. It's very fragrant. I don't tend to burn candles. I used to. There was a time. Here's the description and the specs. It was smaller than I thought it was going to be. Here's another one. I don't tend to buy stuff that's specifically for scent online without smelling it because you just never know. And then here's a jade roller if you need a jade roller. <laughs> Description and specs. It was it, This one came in one of the boxes. It was fine. It, there's nothing special about it. Um, I remember when... Let me, let me make sure. If there's a... If there's a necklace version of this available, then I I have that and it was decent quality. But there's a description in the specs. Uh, here it is with a bird. Oh, that's pretty. There's the specs. Here it is, that bird in silver. Um, so this is all that same jewelry maker. The different kinds of bracelets. Here's that same jewelry maker with necklaces. Very dainty and pretty. Here it is in silver. Here it is with a leaf. Very dainty. Or the specs. And then the leaf in silver. Here are some more water bottles. I haven't heard of Mira 
That's the brand. That's all the mechanics of it. Here's the description and the specs. It's a good price for a water bottle. Water bottle. Here it is in white. Here is a that, uh, insulated lunch food jar. Okay, that'd be good for kids, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Here are the specs. Here it is in a different color. And then here's a different type of water bottle, one of those sippy ones. Here's the description and specs. Here it is in white. Here it is with marble. What is this now? Oh, it's a solar powered. Uh, oh, it's a solar powered like lantern. Okay. Here are the specs. <clears throat> solar, is this solar powered too? Anyway, here is the description and the specs. Yeah, that's neat. Uh, some more of that kind of stuff. I totally missed these when I looked before. These are cool. Mobile charger. Solar or a USB. And it's just like a little nightlight. And here are the specs. What is this now? Oh, they're like string lights. Okay, and here are the specs. Here's another one. Here. And then here are the specs. Okay, Miss Skincare. Definitely look up this brand. I remember looking up their website, and there was just something about their website that didn't really speak to me. Uh, they were available in a FabFitFun sale recently. But other than that, I haven't used anything by them. And these are bath salts. Here's the description and the specs. This is also Ms. Skincare, MS Skincare. Uh, description and specs. This is a body oil. MS Skincare. This is an enzyme mask. Brightening enzyme mask. Description and specs. Mantra Skin Perfecting Cleanser by MS Skincare. Description specs. More native deodorant. I already gave a little commentary on them, so I'll say no more. There are the specs. Then here it is in cucumber mint. So Natura, there was a hair mask by Natura in the fall 2018 box that I actually liked. I liked it a lot. And they had it available in the market sale this last fall, 2019, and I kind of wish I had gotten it. But now we have a hand cream from them. Here's their description and specs. Body lotion. Here's the description and the specs. Um, foot cream, description, specs. Here's a bundle that somehow made its way way down here. This is the poncho that I got, uh, that I have not worn. Can't even think of who to gift it to, but I've talked about all these products already. Uh, here's a body butter by Natura, uh, description and specs. Here's a hand cream by them. Description. Oh, another one. Okay, they have this. This is a second one. Description and specs. More new body. Description and specs. Rose toning mist. Another rose <laughs> product. Here's the specs. Um, green clay mask. I'm having difficulty getting into these powdered stuff, this powdered stuff that's coming around lately. Here are the specs. Uh, sugar lip polish. Here are the specs. Oh, a little kit for $41. 
description and specs. Here's another new body kit. Here's the description for all three. And here are the specs. And then a whole bunch of uh, bags and totes. So I'm going to, in the interest of just kind of moving through this, these are all lovely looking. I'm going to just move through those and move forward. So here's a PMD microderm. Pro Blush. So these are um, lots of YouTube videos reviewing these. There's a bunch of stuff by Pure. And I <laughs> I often think of Tati when her husband is there and they're doing their PR unboxings and he always calls it Pur. Anyway, uh, so here's a makeup remover. I was excited to see stuff from this brand in the sale. Uh, so the description and specs... Here's a Lit Mist Illuminating Setting Spray from them. Description Specs. Uh, dry Oil Elixir from Pure. Description and Specs. This is very silicone heavy, so this is must be... Is this a primer? I wouldn't... This is very silicone heavy. The first, that's interesting. Anyway, just FYI, um, a mascara by Pure. Here are the specs. Lip toppers by Pure, description and specs. Translucent setting powder by Pure. Uh, Sparkle and Shine, a highlighter palette and fan brush. Hydra Lift Under Eye Perfecting Primer. Description and Specs. Be Your Selfie Palette. I think I've heard of this one before. Here's a description and the specs. This is pure still. Lots of stuff from them. There's Pure Mascara, Fully Charged Mascara. Oh, it's a primer. Mascara primer, forgive me. Okay, now we have some feminine hygiene stuff. These are pads. And then a liner. And then a feminine wash. I feel like I remember seeing these in FabFitFun too. And they're all about, obviously, feminine products and doing it cleanly and naturally. Fragrance-free, hypoallergenic, biodegradable, all natural, all that stuff. Description and specs, feminine wipes, collagen sheet masks. Sheet masks, interesting. So description and specs. Here's hydration sheet masks, tea tree sheet masks, vitamin C sheet mask. Oh, they also have tampons, um, super tampons. Here's more tumblers by that same company. Oh, no, this is not the same company. Scratch that. It's I was going to say something that's not right. Uh, so description and specs. Here is the same tumbler in gray. Oh, here's a little wallet purse description and specs. And they have it in black and in this brown color. Here's another like coin purse, I suppose. Description and specs. Okay, and they have it in other colors. Here's another tote. Description and specs. Some of them are vegan leather, some of them are leather. I know I skipped over a handful of totes. Um, but I want to move this along. It's getting quite long, this video. So here is a brand called Sensuals, which I don't know anything about. This is an anti-aging facial serum. So this is the description, and here are the specs. Eye cream from the same company. Description and specs. Face cream. 
There's specs. Vitamin C facial serum. Coconut butter hand repair cream. I think I'd like that, actually. I'd like that one. Let's throw that into my cart. Rosemary mint hand cream. Here's some oils, essential oils from that same company that we've been on, Sensuals. And then more essential oils, premium essential oils kit. If you ever wanted to get into essential oils, this would probably be a great starter kit. <clears throat> more essential oils, some earrings. those same earrings in silver. So we have this brand Sizu and it looks like they're they're just saying silver or gold plated and it's like silver and gold plated silver or gold plated what? That's where I get kind of um, I get skeptical. So here are these earrings. Cleopatra studs. Oh, I see they're on I. Can't see that very well. There's, here's a picture of someone wearing it in gold. Okay. And they have it in gold here. Oh, you can see that one better. Okay. So... That was a little purse. Description specs. And then they have it in green and brown as well. And then here they have, this is the same brand that we've been on for a while that we started with jewelry and now we're on to a purse and now a scarf. 100% wool. More scarves. This is 100% lensing, which I don't know what that is. Uh, viscose. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then in pink and in brown. And then a beanie. And gray. More straws. More straws. <laughs> We do have a straw problem on our planet, so it makes sense. Here are glass water bottles. And they have it in a few colors. Here's a brew bottle, another one. And they have it in a few colors. Ceramic. Uh, I believe it means it's supposed to say ceramic. Ceramic mug. And they have it in a few colors. Here's a lock necklace. Coin necklace. A pearl, single pearl necklace. Greeting cards. Oh, here's more sheets. From that same, we, we saw gray ones earlier. Copper measuring spoons. I believe I have these from a past box and they're, they're nice. They're fine. I haven't used them though, <laughs> but they're fine. They're in my kitchen. I don't bake. So that's a, that's a big reason for that. Salad servers. Let's see what the wood is on this. Mango. Okay, so here is the tumbler. I have this one, and it's in my emergency gift pile, and they have it in a few colors here. It's a wine tumbler. I don't drink alcohol, so that's that. Now I remember that's why I put it into a gift pile. Uh, glow luminizing facial serum. I feel like we already saw this one. Maybe it's a different. Maybe there's a slight difference. 
headphone holders, headphone holders in brown, more produce bags, bento snack box. It's interesting that they don't put like with like. Um, this is kind of cute. I wouldn't buy it, but it's yet another thing that I would appreciate it in someone else's home. There are the specs. Here's another pillowcase. New body, more of that powder mask stuff, more of the sugar lip scrub, Ursa Major. I did try a sample of a of a, a soothing gel mask from them, and it was nice. It was very pleasant to use. Uh, so that's all I know really about this brand. That sample came in my Pediver box. I mentioned Pediver already. Brightening, brighten up vitamin C serum. Okay. They have a deodorant. Another one of their deodorants. A recovery cream. Face wipes. That's so interesting. Bamboo face wipes. So I wonder if they're biodegradable. Okay. Uh, toning mist, lavender toning mist, charm bracelet. Again, not a lot about what material it's made out of. Here it is in gold. Heart earrings. Here's the key bracelet on its own. Waffle towel set. By Etitude. Serene House. Oh, a ther aromatherapy diffuser. In black. And then they have it in a couple different colors. Some more greeting cards. We're almost there. We're almost at the end. And if you haven't subscribed, so this is pretty much the end. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do a variety of different girly beauty videos, and I have a giveaway coming very, very soon. So, I, uh, yeah, consider subscribing. Introduce yourself in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.